In this video, I'm going to show you a great way how to do niche research so that you can find books that sell, but that you can actually beat in sales. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I make videos to help you make money online so that you can build a life you love. Niche research is a critical part of your whole book creation process and it is probably the part that you should spend the most time on. There are different ways that you can do niche research, such as you can go onto the Amazon website and search through the different categories and do searches for various keywords to see if you can find an un untapped niche or at least a niche with lower competition than others, but with customers that are buying books in that niche. Today, I want to show you a cool way of doing niche research, which allows you to find books that are actually selling, but aren't that great of books so that we can improve on them and make better books. What's the point in doing that? I hear you ask. Well, what's better than finding an in-demand niche with really great books. Finding an in-demand niche with really crappy books. If we can find books that are selling but they have a low or lower star rating on Amazon, then this gives us the opportunity to make better books than what's already available and in theory, people would buy our books over the others because ours is better. So the basic idea is that we are looking for books that have a four star rating or less. Look at why these books have bad reviews or bad ratings and make books addressing the concerns or complaints of the customers who have left reviews so that our book becomes the better book in that niche. We are basically giving customers what they want based on the feedback they've provided on existing products. So the first step is finding one of these niches. I'm going to be using Helium 10 today and they have this really great tool called Black Box. Helium 10 have a whole suite of tools within their software that really just covers all aspects of Amazon businesses, whether it's selling books, physical products, or whatever it is in terms of product and keyword research. And I have done videos before on using their Cerebro and Magnet tools for keyword research for KDP books. But this tool that I'm using, the Black Box tool, I'm going to be using it for niche research. It's a product research tool that is quite powerful in finding profitable Amazon products. It'll scan the entire Amazon marketplace, but we can use filters to drill down to what we are looking for exactly in terms of looking for books. But just as a side note, if you are selling other products on Amazon, so say for example, you might be doing Amazon FBA selling physical products or you might be doing merch by Amazon. Helium 10 is a really great across the board software for all those Amazon businesses too. So let's head over to my Helium 10 account and I'll show you how this works. So when you first log into your Helium 10 account, this is where you land on the dashboard and I'm just going to head over here and click on this product research tab. Now all the different tabs to all their different tools within their software is listed down here but I'm going to click on product research because that's what we're doing today and I'm just going to click on the black box tool for Amazon product research because I'm looking for products that sell and I want to know what those products are and once we're in the black box tool this is all our filters and we can select whatever filters we need to drill down these little tabs across the top where you can do different types of research products keywords competitors niche or product targeting I'm going to leave it on products because like I say I'm looking for a product that sells now this is where we can adjust all our filters depending on what you want to search for and so what we want to do is we want to search for books and as I said, we are looking for something that has a four star rating or less. Now, if you click search now, what comes up is a whole lot of stuff that is probably irrelevant to what you are searching for because we haven't drilled down, we haven't narrowed down exactly what it is we are looking for. This works regardless of whether you are doing low content books like notebooks and journals or whether you are doing high content books like fiction or non-fiction books. So let's start off if we were doing low content books like a notebook or a journal. We are going to want to drill down further to get books within those niches or maybe not niches but categories that we are looking to make a book in. So if you click this arrow here to advanced filters we have lots more 
information we can put in to drill down our results. One thing I am going to pop in is I'm going to pop in a max bestseller rank because we want books that are selling. And if you do not fill this out, it will bring up books that have a bestseller rank. So BSR is a bestseller rank and a bestseller rank determines the popularity of a book in the Amazon marketplace. The lower the number, the better the sales, the more sales you are making. So if we do not put in a maximum BSR, it could bring up books that have bestseller ranks in the millions, which means that those books are not selling. As an example, I might put in a maximum bestseller rank of 200,000. And from here, I'm going to drill down by popping a word in the title keyword search. So with low content books, generally the type of book you are making is going to be in the title. So if it's a notebook, usually that would be in the title. If it's a coloring book, that would be in the title. Let's say we want to create a journal. Usually that would be in the title of a journal. So we'll pop journal in and we'll do a search and we'll see what comes up. Now, if we scroll down here, we can see we've got over 200 products found. And I'm just going to go through and we'll see if there's anything that's selling with not great reviews. So there's a top secret notebook or top secret journal that has made some sales, but it doesn't have any reviews. That may be a really good book. We're not sure yet because nobody's left a review. Nobody's left a review on the Rose Journal. We'll scroll down until we find something with a review. Now, I feel like that might be something that's infringing on trademark. I don't even know what that is, so I'm going to skip by that <laughs> in case it's something that's trademarked or copyright. But let's have a look here. Okay, we've got a vintage Christmas music sheet journal. It's 100 pages, 6 by 9 journal. It's selling... 49 books per month. It's got a BSR of just over 187,000, but it's only got a 3.6 star rating on Amazon. So it's making sales, even though it's not really that great. So what we can do is we can click over here, open it up and see if we can see why it doesn't have a great rating. This review says just a notebook with music sheets on the back or cover. So I think she thought that it was a book with music paper inside of it. So she could write music so it's it's not clear or it's not intentionally misleading but it is misleading because honestly when I saw music sheet journal I thought it was going to be a, a book that had music paper in it so someone could write music it isn't clear on what this product is exactly so how could you improve on that well you could make a journal with a similar style cover to this but actually with sheet music in it possibly blank sheet music. Let's go see if there's any more we can find. Okay, what's this? Book talk journal. I don't know if that's infringing on copyright too. It might have something to do with TikTok, but it has an excellent BSR selling 228 per month with a four star rating. It's only got one review, so it might just be a, a rating. They might not have actually left a review. So if you're not familiar with BookTok, TikTok is turning out to be a really great platform for authors to promote their books, and it's called Book talk. So this journal is for you to note down the recommendations that you see on TikTok of books to read. And I feel like it's probably got a rating, not a review. Oh no, it does have a review. Well, it doesn't say why they only gave it a four star. So let's keep going down. Okay, journal for social workers. It gets 69 sales per month, but it only has a 3.6 star rating. So let's see why. It looks like it's just a notebook with a funny saying on the cover, social worker, vent journal, all the things I can't say out loud. Not good quality, just a notebook with writing on the front. I wonder what they thought they were getting. I mean, they're pretty clear <laughs> on what it is. That person might not have just read the description. There's another one of those things that I don't know what it is. All right, what's this? Better everyday journal. You can hardly even see the cover or what's written on the cover of that, but Again, great BSR, 65,000. It sells 64 books a month with a 1.8 rating. So we go in, we have a look. Just a plain notebook, it's not worth $20. Oh wow, they're selling that for $18. Well, they're making sales and they're selling it for $18. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, selling that for $20. Okay, what have we got here? The Ultimate Island Travel Planner and Journal. It's selling maybe 63 copies a month with a 3.8 star rating. So let's have a look and see what the problems are with this book. And this is going to be the last one I look at because I'm sure you're getting the idea of the process and what you what you need to do. Okay, so let's have a look. Ultimate Island Travel Planner. No way. The word island 
appears once in this book and Northern Ireland once on the next page in a brief section addressing COVID. Otherwise, this is a travel planner. So lots of people like it, but it seems possibly like they've called it an Ireland travel planner, but it really could be used for any place by the sounds of it. So they're probably just trying to target different popular country. Yeah, so they're just trying to target different popular holiday spots But by the sounds of it, the inside of the book isn't really specific to the country that they've got on on the cover. So in that case, you could do something similar where you do customise it so that the interior is also specific to a particular place. That could be by putting in a few places to visit in that particular country or tips on traveling to that particular place or something like that. So you could find a way to improve on that. So like I say, that was the last one I was going to look at. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. You go through, find these books that have sales, but not great reviews. Have a look what's wrong. Can you do something better? And hopefully by doing that, you would become the better book in the niche and get the sales. So I'm just going to quickly go back up to our filters and I'm just going to pop in coloring book to see if anything comes up under coloring book I'm going to leave everything else the same the BSR and the review rating as number four okay so we've got again over 200 products so the first one that comes up interior coloring book adult coloring book it's selling 45 sales per month estimated but with only a 3.5 star rating. So if someone likes it, paper is thin. Okay, that's not much we can do about that. That's Amazon. Okay, so that's the only bad review, not about the actual book who, who created the book. Okay, Steampunk Coloring Book. Great BSR. It's only got a 3.5 star rating. This one's saying they're disappointed with the co- quality of the images. Some of them look stretched. So it looks like they've used some low quality JPEGs that have not printed out very good not good at all some images are warped and not in a proper format some are so small you can't even color them too many dark areas so this is perfect example of what you're looking for you're looking for a book that is making sales even though people are saying the same thing the quality of the images inside this book is terrible there's a couple comments about the thin paper as well but there's nothing we can do about that that's just what amazon prints on and Thousands of coloring books sell every day on Amazon, regardless of the quality of the paper. So don't worry about that. If the quality of these images were high, I bet people would not complain about the thinness of the paper because they'd be impressed with the book overall because of the the quality of the images. So this is a perfect example where you would just need to go and find or create high quality images to put in this book. And you've got a better book than this one. Now, just for people who are doing high content books, I myself am starting to make some high content books. So let's just see what comes up for something. Let's say, I don't know. So maybe let's pop in, I don't know, gardening. What comes up under gardening? I'm just picking topics out the top of my head. So it's only brought up one book, Gardening, Perennial Vegetables. I didn't plan looking on gardening books or anything. So maybe if you played with the keywords there, you might get up more results. But just as an example, we've got this book that comes up, Gardening, Perennial Vegetables. It's getting 10 sales per month, making around $100 a month with only 3.9 star rating. So let's look for the bad reviews. High level wiki info. Okay, so they're basically saying that this information is just general information that you could find from searching wikipedia or something like that and that is someone who is a top reviewer so that kind of feedback would be taken very seriously i think by other customers this one saying it's overly simplistic waited a month to comment as i was so angry to have paid for something very poorly written with very little really helpful info typos or inaccuracies on nearly every page wow okay so someone didn't edit the book or perhaps maybe it's made by someone who maybe english isn't their first language or maybe they had it made by someone whose first language isn't english or something so it sounds like someone's basically just gone on to google to find information about garden with perennial vegetables and just popped it into a book random thoughts no depth little to no useful content scant on topic full of waffle it merely scratches the surface of the subject so people are looking for an in-depth book on perennial vegetable gardening and this book is not doing it so even though it's making sales and it's making a hundred dollars a month if you're going to create a book about gardening you now have feedback on what customers want when they're searching for perennial vegetable gardening books and so you could make your book to suit this customer's feedback so when they come and search for these books and yours comes up you're giving them exactly what they want i hope that that's given you an idea of how good this black box tool is and how you can use it to your advantage and just get 
get a leg up on other people who are creating books in similar niches or creating similar kind of books to you. You need something to put you out in front of all the others. And this is a really great way to do that. So I hope you can see how helpful Helium 10 can be with your niche research in a way that allows you to find books or find a niche that is making sales but has books that aren't that great, allowing you space to create something better. It's all about improving your chances of making books that actually sell. If you did like this video and you would like me to make more videos about using Helium 10 and how it can benefit your KDP business, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.